Hey, what is up everybody? My name is Starlord, I hope that you're having a fantastic day, and today's video we're actually going to be looking in depth at the Fortnite Battle Royale mobile device controls. We're actually got some gameplay in the background, official gameplay of Fortnite Battle Royale actually running on an iOS or an Android device. It looks insane and yeah, today's video's purpose is basically telling you guys where exactly everything is on screen when you actually play the game. Uh, before we do get into the video guys, please do not forget to leave a like on the channel and also subscribe because I'm just a small channel trying to go big. I always have up to date videos on Fortnite Battle Royale and I know for a fact if you guys just go and look at my content, you would absolutely love it. Um, so anyway, without further ado, Let's get into today's video. So first off, you've probably seen the background. All of that in the background, what is going on right now is actually gameplay recorded from Fortnite Battle Royale on the actual mobile devices. It looks insane. The graphics actually look pretty amazing in my opinion, especially for a mobile device. And what I realized is that when I looked over this like gameplay very, very carefully from the actual mobile trailer, it, everything looks very smooth. It looks like it plays like a beauty. It looks, it looks amazing. It looks like, especially my phone, I have a Samsung Note 7 or Note 8, I, I believe, I'm not too sure. That will have no problem running this game, and especially because of the screen size, it's going to be absolutely insane. Not only that though, in this trailer, I actually managed to get a screenshot of the actual in-game controls, what the UI looks like on the game itself, and that'll be on screen right now. And as you can see, this woman is actually playing it on here. I believe that's an Android device. I don't think that's a iPhone. I'm not too sure though. I could be wrong. And the screen looks pretty big. It looks actually pretty amazing. Yeah, and we're just kind of going to go through a little bit of a lowdown, the changes of all of this. So as you can see on screen, the top left hand corner, which is probably the most noticeable, that is where the map is going to be located now. So I personally like that because I hate the map being on the far right hand side of the screen. Um, the map is pretty big on screen. So, you know, you definitely can see exactly where you are uh, when you need to. Underneath that, we have the timer for the actual storm. We have how many kills you've got and how many players are actually in the game. Underneath that, right underneath that, we've actually got the fire button. Now, this is kind of what worries me a little bit because that fire button is very close to the map and I assume that when you tap the map, it will open. So what if you misclick the fire button and actually click that map? That will cause a lot of problems. It'll actually cause you to probably die if you don't get off it quick enough. So, very strange indeed. Um, other than that, the woman's thumb on the bottom left hand side, that is controlling like how you move left, right, up, down, all that kind of stuff. And her thumb on the right hand side is how it controls uh, like turning left, turning right, looking up, looking down. So it basically controls the camera angle and the left thumb controls the movement. Underneath the left thumb, we can see we've got a little bag icon that is actually to go in and I assume that you can actually like drag all of the items around whichever what like say you want like for example an assault rifle in your first slot, you can actually drag it there using that little bag icon area right there. So that's pretty cool too. Also, that is exactly where you will go to actually drop all of your ammunition and all that kind of stuff. Other than that, another noticeable thing is that the weapons bar is pretty big and there's a reason for this. That's because everybody is always constantly switching weapons in Fortnite Battle Royale to always adapt to the game style and we need these to be big on screen because if you try and keep on tapping to get a shotgun out and you can't get it in time, you're gonna die, you know? So I'm very glad that they actually put it in the middle of the screen and they allowed it to be so big compared to most icons. Uh, just above that, we can also see there's a little like ammo counter thing. You can see it's got one uh, ammo shot left uh, or one shotgun shell in the shotgun itself. And next to that, uh, you can see like a little circle icon with two shotgun shells. That is the reload button. So when you wanna reload, all you have to do is very quickly tap down there and there you go. It's it's literally within your, your reach, you're, you're pretty fine. Um, the health has been moved to the top left, which I really like. I wish they would make it a little bit more transparent, in my opinion. I think it needs to be a little bit more transparent so that you can see like a little bit more of the screen. If we look to the far right hand side of the screen though, this is where the interesting stuff is. So up in the top right hand corner, we have the menu button. This will be where you can actually go into to change your game in-game settings. 
all that kind of stuff. You guys know what I'm talking about, like your sensitivity. Uh, talking about that, I'm actually going to have a guide as soon as the mobile version drops on the best sensitivities for certain phones. So if you definitely want to get in on what the best sensitivity is to play Fortnite mobile gaming, uh, please remember to subscribe and turn on notifications because I'll have the video as soon as possible. Um, so anyway, like I was saying, you've got the wood, the brick, and the metal in the far top right hand corner. I, that's a little bit away, and I'm a little bit disappointed in that because, like, what if you want to very quickly switch to brick instead of wood, just because, you know, you kind of want to. That would take a lot of time to do that. So that, I can imagine that would be very, very difficult for a lot of users, especially users with small phones, because they are, without a doubt, the smallest icons on the screen right now. Um, other than that, we do have the aim down sight uh, kind of one. That is the one with the little crosshairs with the little plus in it. That is exactly how you're going to aim down sights with a sniper rifle, a shotgun, all that kind of stuff. And of course, whilst you're holding that down, um, you can actually move your form left and right while still holding down to move your camera angle too. And then with your left form, you will be able to click the shoot button to actually start shooting. So they've thought a lot about that and it looks really good. I'm very happy with it. Again, we do have a crowd button there on the far right hand side of the corner that's at the top and yeah it just it's basically a crouch button and then underneath that we also have the jump button I guess and I don't know I, I really like this layout to be honest I mean compared to like rules of survival and um, like for once I'm actually glad that there is no laying down in Fortnite because imagine how much stuff would be on screen if like you had like laying down abilities if you had first person switching third person switching the screen, in my opinion, is very, very clean for a Battle Royale game. Like, Rules of Survival just confused me when I played it. And this looks ve like a very much like a big improvement, to be honest. So, I'm very happy about that. I would actually love to know what you guys think in the comment section below about the actual layout itself. I mean, there's a lot to talk about here. I think that they can maybe decrease the size of the actual map in the top left-hand corner. Because, I mean... Do you really use the map at all? You only ever use the map once or twice in the game to check exactly where the actual zone is coming in from and where the best place is to go. So in my opinion, the map needs to be sized down a little tiny bit. The numbers and the kills and how many players are left in the game needs to be brought up with it. And I would say that's pretty much perfect in my opinion, really, because we've got to remember that not all... Um, not everybody will have this exact view because some people have smaller screens than other people and I just feel sorry for people with like iPhones and stuff because in my opinion Samsung's have got like the best biggest screens and I'm gonna be able to hit everything I want as quick as I want all in reach whereas iPhone users are gonna have to like bend their thumbs and they're gonna have to try and like play very, it's, it's just going to be very difficult in my opinion. I don't know. Other than that, I would like to end this video on the note that yes, controller capability will not be supported for the mobile devices just yet. That was actually confirmed by one of the employees over at Epic. They said that they do not want to enable it just to kind of make it fair and allow people to get used to the mobile controls. They said that on a later date, they will most likely allow it so that you can plug in your controller or, you know, even if you have like an Android phone, you can actually connect your uh, keyboard and mouse to it and play keyboard and mouse on mobile. Uh, so yeah, pretty interesting news indeed. Tell me what you feel in the comment section below guys. Are you excited for Fortnite Mobile? And um, also, if you are very worried about actually getting keys for Fortnite Mobile, when I get my keys, I get like three or four free with each key I get. So I'll be giving those away to my subscribers. So if you definitely do not want to miss out on that, please subscribe, turn on notifications. And while you're waiting, just check out my other videos. They're pretty awesome. I know for a fact you guys are going to love them. And uh, I guess that's about it, guys. Enjoy your weekend, your week or whatever. And uh, yeah, just have an awesome day. And until next time, I've been Star Lord. Oh, see ya.